These production possibility curve problems are not that hard compared to what we've been doing, but they're different enough that I want you to have seen them before we go into an exam or something like that. There's a homework question like this, and then, this, of course, anything on Connect or in any of the taps is fair game, plus a high level of understanding of the reading. Um, all right, so first problem, I've got autos on the x-axis, wheat on the y, pardon my messy handwriting. First task is to scale axes, and we see that for autos we're going to need to go up to 2100, so I'm just going to go 2000, and about halfway along is 1000. Give myself a 500 mark and a 1500 mark. doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to draw it close to scale. Um, let's just go with that for now. Then for wheat, we need to get up to 60. So again, get the high point, bisect it. Usually our eyes are pretty good at coming close to bisecting. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, let's get 100, 200, 400, 500. Not perfect, but I'm sorry, 10 million, 20 million, 40 million, and 50 million. All right, and then now it's a matter of, of scaling these points roughly. First, let's do the end point. When automobiles are at zero, wheat is at 60, so that's zero and 60 right here. That's one point. And then um, when automobiles climb up to 600, sorry for the smallness of this writing, um, Wheat is at 50, so 50 million, of course, and 600,000. And again, this needs to be roughly close, but not perfectly close. 40 uh, million bushels of wheat corresponds with 1,100. Did I skip a zero? So it seems that I did. And then, um, and so on. I'm just going to do it while, without narrating it, so I can avoid dumb mistakes when you talk and write at the same time. Bad things happen, or can happen. 20 and 1800. So we're starting to see some increasing opportunity costs. And then finally, zero. Oh no, I've got 10 million and 2,000 and then 0 and 2,100. And then we just connect the dots and even despite my very crude drawing skills, we see we've got a bit of a bow, a bit of increasing opportunity costs. We know it's increasing opportunity costs because the slope is relatively flat up here, relatively steep of steep here. For my answer key that I posted on um, on our Moodle page, I've done it with Excel, so it's scaled much more precisely. And you can see it easier there. Um, all right, what is the opportunity cost of increasing wheat production from 40 to 50 million? So we're going from this point to this point, and this was 1,100. And this point was... 600 so that's 500 but remember these are thousands so to be absolutely correct we say 500,000 automobiles and then we do the same exercise uh, when we ask what's the opportunity cost of increasing uh, wheat production from 10 to 20. And we see that the, let's just do it off this table. We go from 2,000,000, that's 2 million, uh, to 1.8 1. million, so point. 
two million or uh, two hundred thousand. So two hundred thousand. And why does opportunity cost change? You can say um, some factors are more are better suited to wheat production than car production, and when our wheat um, our wheat production is is low, uh, we can move factors that are relatively good at wheat over into wheat and out of automobiles. So we have a low opportunity cost. But as our as our wheat production gets higher, we have to take factors that are relatively better at making automobiles and move them into wheat production. And another way to say that is just simply to say low hanging fruit principle. The low hanging fruit principle it simply comes from an orchard analogy or observation. If you're only going to harvest a, a, a small amount of pears, you just run somebody through the orchard, lickety split with some bags on their shoulders, they can pick you know, close to half your crop. But if you're going to increase output, uh, you're going to have to get people with a ladder and, you know, they're going to have to move the ladder and climb up the ladder and pick the fruit. The, the, um, as you increase fruit output out of an orchard, you're going to have to pay higher and higher costs as you, as you reach up and get the fruit that's less accessible. And then finally, if you want to get every last bit of fruit, it's really tricky to get the ladder position just so to get the high, high up pairs. And, you know, those come at a really high opportunity cost in terms of your workers' time that, you know, you have to pay for. Made with DoodleCast Pro.